Next, we'll look at uh, some of the purchasing stuff that we've seen. Um, purchasing is a big thing for uh, every, every manufacturing client. Um, you know, they ma it matters what they're taking in, um, and what they're paying on that, how their suppliers are performing, and how different components of the finished goods are performing. So what we have here is I've broken down into like an example of what a supplier scorecard could be or a component scorecard could be. So a supplier scorecard is specifically and what's important is um, knowing how your suppliers are performing. You want to show bad or show ones that are underperforming, show ones that are overperforming, and then adjust the purchase orders you're placing based off of that. So what I can do here is I have this uh, report on page it shows some of the KPIs which we'll walk through but also what it does is I can go ahead and switch it through for all of my different suppliers and I can see how it changes and I can see quickly the status of every different supplier. So what I have here is I have a couple things up top the KPIs the PO cost that you're spending versus what you would expect to spend um, for the last month the number of POs placed in your quantity variance which we'll go over in a little bit more in depth. Um, your PO cost to actual versus standard. So um, how different is what you're actually spending on a unit price basis for these goods um, based off of what you're expecting to price, which is really a uh, quick and easy way to see um, if you're spending close to how good your standard unit prices are for your raw materials and how close you are to meeting those. Are you under or are you above? Um, then you have just the number of POs you're placing. Then down below, a couple of um, fun KPIs are your percent received late. So you can go ahead and for a supplier, um, how are they performing on um, delivering what they said they're going to deliver on time, um, which is important um, to know the performance of that for the suppliers. So we can even drill down deeper into that by going into, so for February, um, they were really 40, almost 40% late for this category A, so this certain type of item. And we can go into further, and we could see the percent that they received late for a specific component. and. So we can go very in-depth with all of that. And then once I'm there, I can go ahead and pick on the on that component, and it can filter all of the other um, KPIs are and charts on my graph and show me what my quantity variance was for that for that component in that time period, and then what how many POs did I place that meet with that. So I can so as someone becomes more and more familiar with this data and they get into it, they can dig deep into the data and get some of those answers to themselves without having to go back to IT and saying, hey, can you run this query, can you run this query? We're giving them the ability to analyze their data very intensely and deeply um, on a bunch of different levels. So again, we have, so another chart that we have is a quantity percent quantity variance, which is just going to be your, uh, of the expected amount that you place in the purchase order, how many units of that good are you actually receiving, um, which is extremely important um, when you're when it comes to terms of production planning and especially perishable goods. Are you getting what you're supposed to be getting, and is that going to be affecting um, your production schedule? So, and, and also you can dig deeper into this by going in at the same level, and again you can shut it off and pick something, and it will filter the other. Uh, it, it will filter the other um, content you have on your page. So also we have for purchasing is going to be knowing how you're doing for specific uh, components. Um, if you buy, uh, most all manufacturing companies are going to be buying the same components or the same um, pieces very frequently to make up their um, finished goods. So it's important that they know what those things are and, and how their purchasing of those uh, goods are trending over time and then specifically by supplier. So what we're seeing here is if we have a standard unit price that we're expecting to be paying across all our suppliers, um, how am I paying for that specific component and how is that going over time? Um, then we also have our quant percent quantity late and percent quantity variance um, figures, which are the same from before. Um, but then up here what we have is we have our PO cost at actual by supplier. Um, so what this is do doing is this is showing for that month, what percentage did we spend on each supplier? So you can see as it goes over a month, you're buying it from different suppliers at different rates, and you can go, okay, for this month, um, for this month, for this supplier, what was my quantity variance and what did I have late? And you can go ahead and you can see how that, uh, you can see how that supplier is changing over time. You can switch different suppliers, 
and you could see how the different measurements are going for a component, and you can dig deeper into your data that way um, for understanding at a component level how am I performing with a specific component that matters to me.